Hello everybody and welcome back to Hyperlusion, bringing you the amateur and low budget filmmaking tips. Alright, so I hope you saw the title and we're just basically going to be talking about some websites and some things that are going to help you with filmmaking and the things that are inside of filmmaking. So uh, let's get started. So for the effects category, I'm going to have to go with my favorite one where I get all my effects is footage crate or production crate, depending on what you go to. But it basically has a bunch of different effects you can use. Some of their products you can't use because there's a pro package, but the pro package is $50, which is actually cheap because you get 50 downloads a day and they have over 10,000 elements you can choose from. So if you want some dust particles, you want some fire, you want some ice, you want some wind, whatever you want, Production Crate has got it. All right, for some more assets, um, there, isn't, there isn't really a lot of free stuff out there except individual free things from creators like Peter McKinnon, Film Riot, like I talked in my other video, you can go check that out right here. I know right now Film Riot has a quarantine pack that you can get, which has some music, some sound effects, and then some super cool effects that you could try out. Alright, for the music and sound effects category, um, my favorite place to go for music is Jamendo, where you can buy license or you can just simply email or contact the person who made the song and you can ask them if you can use it but if that doesn't work out you can get completely royalty free music by Ben Sound. Almost all my videos I use Ben Sound because they're just amazing and they have some great background music, great corporate music, just every genre you would want so uh, it's great and so for sound effects I would have to go with Zap Splat. It's also royalty free as long as you credit them and uh, same with Ben Sound. You also have to credit Ben Sound, which is probably not a problem because it's YouTube. You always have descriptions anyway. But Zap Splat has so many things you can get. One of the annoying things though is you can only get like 10 downloads per day or I don't know, something like that. So, but with any free thing, there always has to be a catch because the person has to make money who makes it. All right, for stock video or stock photos, there's pretty much only one place to go, which is Pexels.com. That's what I use for all my music videos for my newest album, Infinity X album. You can check it out right here, here, wherever. Pexels has a good bit of video. It's not the amount of videos that Storyblocks and Artgrid have, but it's still a considerable amount of videos for free that you can use. Also photos, they don't have any music or anything like Storyblocks has, but they're still great for videos and photos. An extra thing that I really enjoy is Studio Binder. Now Studio Binder, you can organize your whole entire life with any short films you have. You can just organize it there. They have a free membership where you can sign up to get that. And with it comes with, you can type your script up in industry standard form. Or a lot of great stuff like that, so check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for all these things so you won't have to bother going and searching it up. Really help you in filmmaking is to just have a YouTube channel. Having a YouTube channel will allow you to put your work out there or put whatever you create and for people to see and then say they like what you do or like what you've done. Then they can hire you as a client and maybe you can get some money and invest in yourself for more filmmaking gear or just get you some lollipops or something. <laughs> And going off of that, also another thing that would be great for you to have is a website. I made my website with free Wix account. The bad thing about having a free account in anything is you can't have your own domain. But who really cares because I just went on tinyurl, made myself a tinyurl, and you can just check out my website which is tinyurl.com slash hyperlusion. And it's as easy as that. You got a quick, easy URL that everybody will know. Also, I did the same for my channel, so that's that. It's Hyperlusion Channel instead of just Hyperlusion. Hyperlusion, aha! Pretty odd name, huh? So I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like it and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'll be coming out with a bunch more content very soon. And uh, let me know what kind of videos you want in the future because I, I need some ideas. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below because I'll be doing a Q&A soon with all the questions I get. So stay tuned for that. And if you're wondering what I'm doing in this new place this right here, I'm thinking of making a series called The Shack or something, something cool like that. 
where I basically do all my Q&As there where I don't have to talk about any gear or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye God dang, why does this thing never turn off? I always have to do some weird junk and get my lens cap and... Oh.